So suddenly the sun is right there. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's it's early in the morning as I'm recording this, and I'm like, how can I talk? So you guys can like that's I, I can't close the window. Um, so I was gonna stop the show, but I'm like, I don't want to stop the show, so I'm gonna talk like this. How's that, kids? Uh, I'm James I Jr. This is left-handed with a lot to say. It's been a while since we've had an episode. So thanks for being patient. I've been taking care of some other stuff. Um, you know, we did like 30 episodes of this great show. So check those out on any audio streaming service or here on JLJ Media on YouTube. And one of my guests, Flobo Voice, actually inspires this show. So, <clears throat> but follow us on, on all streaming services, YouTube, JLJ Media, and all social platforms. And we have a, a page on Facebook called Left Hand with a lot to say. And even though I haven't done any episodes in a while, we've been actually posting content on there just you know i've been like asking questions and and engaging we have a lot of new people coming in every day it's a it's a fun safe space for being left-handed from around the world you know the lefties from around the world okay so my friend flow voice has a show called was up flow well, now you're probably like what does that mean so it's w-a-s-s-u-p and it's episode number 215 it's very important episode number 215 on his channel Fall Voice on YouTube, New Amsterdam's channel. It's called What's Up Flobo, number 215. Go to his channel, Flow Voice. Um, he talks about handwriting. He's left hand like I am, obviously, he was on the show. And they got me thinking about the handwriting. Now, I have nice handwriting, and that's because on purpose. So my handwriting isn't that bad. Um, you see, because when I was a kid, I was determined not to write like someone to be like this. I was like, I'm gonna write like this. And I really took, I really took, uh, I, I really worked hard on that. Uh oh, there's a son. I really worked hard on that. I worked very hard to actually try to write. I, I, I love the handwriting. And of course, I'm of the age where we had cursive and handwriting and all that stuff when I was a kid in the 70s. Um, so I, mean, I took I took pride in it. Also, that is a trash truck outside my window. Like right outside my window. Yeah, keep looking around. There you go. Thank you. The sun is so funny. Oh, actually, stay right there, trash truck. <laughs> well, it's, I'm doing this live. Um, <clears throat> and I really uh, was took pride in my handwriting. I was really, I mean, we wrote all the time back in the seventies. Was there was no you know all the time. Well, I've continued to write. I write on all kinds of things. This, this is my schedule of things. I write. I have notebooks. I write on whiteboards. Oh, which way can we go? Behind me, whiteboards. I write all the time. I do, I write all the time. Um, one of the funny things when I was a kid, I took calligraphy. Uh, I took calligraphy classes. And so I know how to do calligraphy. So I did that, which is the art of writing. It's very fancy writing. And usually it's for like events and things you're writing and stuff. Uh, I took that. And then when I was, when I was in nursing school, I had to learn how to take um, dictation, which uh, which the whole you know dictation is something that's very, it's lots of different symbols and things. And then I had to learn uh, how to read doctor's handwriting when I was a nurse. Ooh, rough, handwriting be rough. But I don't think that left hand people have the worst handwriting out of between the two, right and left. I've seen some right hand people who have the horrendous, where you're like, wow, well, I don't know what that is. Now, my nines and fours look very similar. For my whole life, I, even though I, I can try to do what I can, for some reason, people will get my nines and fours mixed up. Uh, I still write, like I still write to this day. But here's about his handwriting. And I just got, I, I'm going to show you something because he got me a nice little card. Um, and so I'm like, I was gonna show you his handwriting. His handwriting. Can you see it? It's his handwriting. Now, it's I don't think it's the I don't think it's the worst or anything. I could I I could read what he's saying. I've seen way worse. So flow don't be too hard on yourself. Your handwriting is it's 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 fine. Um but I just really could ask you guys out there, how is your handwriting as a left-handed person? Is it bad? Is it good? Do you write where your hand is? over the page and up and down, or do you write like a, they, they say a normal person, I don't like that word is, do you write like left hand, right hand people write, which is right across. Um, tell me what you think about your handwriting, uh, because lefties are always about our handwriting, and I think mine's fine, so I don't know.
But thanks all for the inspiration. But you guys out there, more episodes are coming. Uh, we are coming back. It's just some um, uh, podcasts, we do a bunch of episodes, take a little break, come back fresh, and start anew. I'm James Lott Jr. Thanks, lefties, and we'll see you next time.